Those were the words of William Lyon McKenzie. Come on, my God, so much we'll cry. Gonna be there by your side. Those were the words of William Lyon McKenzie. into town. I hope this isn't one of your pranks again, or you'll be in trouble, young lady. No, honestly, Kate, it's really true. Oh, look for yourself. Quickly, quickly. Oh, isn't that young officer handsome, Kate? Isn't he the most wonderful man you've ever seen? He is rather nice looking. Nice looking. Oh, he's handsome, Kate. Absolutely handsome. Well, you can't say that I didn't tell the truth this time, Kate Britton. Except there were only four soldiers. You said dozens. Oh, maybe there's some more coming. Hmm. What do you think they're here for, Kate? Do you think they're going to arrest somebody? How should I know? Sit down, Mr. Purdy. I've uh, been making inquiries around the settlement to establish whether or not you might have been party to the rebellion led by William Lyon Mackenzie on the 7th of December, 1837. Look, I've already told you, Colonel. I never left this settlement on or around the 7th. And as your search has proved, I'm not hiding any fugitives. Mm, true. We've not found any fugitives hiding under your bed. But we've also found no evidence that you have not been harboring fugitives over the past few days, and also no evidence to support your claim that you were in the settlement on the date in question. Well, look, Colonel, I've already told you I was in Murphy's store on the 7th. Well, he and Jenny Plackett saw me. Isn't that right, Thomas? Well, I, I honestly wish I could remember, William, but although I've racked me poor brain black and blue, I've not come up with anything. Well, of course I was there. Come in. I I'm sorry to bother you, miss, but I want to talk to you. Sit down. The truth is, I was wondering, with the colonel staying here at the tavern, whether you know what's happening to Mr. Purdy. Well, thanks to you and Murphy, he may well end up in jail, or get hung, or worse still, be sent to Australia.